scope. We're gonna do a lot better than the boys. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have more fun. <sighs> Way more fun. <laughs> City girl from Ohio. <laughs> This week's Archer's Choice. Where are we going? Oh, may I speak? Absolutely. You have permission. Powder River, baby, Montana. Early season, velvet bucks, the girls. I mean, this is this is what bull hunting's all about. That's right. This week's lucky logo is Realtree. Blend in anywhere, <laughs> anytime, the ultimate camouflage. If you see the Realtree logo, we'll tell you what to do with that name on the show. Now we're gonna head out west. Montana, girls, velvet, big bucks. What else can you ask for? a chance for me to talk. No, and I really like it that you let me tell you when you can or can't. Thank you. It's not yep. that. See how that works? I flew out to Montana a few days before the open to help CJ set up stands and also a glass for big bucks and the alfalfa fields along the river. Here we are back out at Powder River Outfitters, southeast Montana, looking at a group of nice deer, including probably a dozen really good bucks. We got three days till opening day. Had a great hunt last year with some good friends and uh, hoping to make it happen again this year. After a long flight, I finally met up with David at the airport in Billings, Montana, and I couldn't wait to see what was in store. Well, when we finally made it into camp, we met up with David and Stephanie. It was nice to see him again. We hadn't seen him in a while. It's gonna be our first time to actually hunt with David and Stephanie and uh, couldn't think of a better place along the Powder River in Montana. Now, one of the first stops we made was to go in and get our tags. And, you know, we hadn't seen Stephanie and Waz in a while, and I guess had a little fun with them. As it would have it, the taxidermy shop where we got our tags had a pet skunk. Who knew? What's the matter? It's just a skunk. What? She's gonna get you. <laughs> and girls against guys. <laughs> First it's moose, then it's a skunk. I don't know. I'm I'm terrible. Terrible. I believe you did that. <laughs> City girl from Ohio. <laughs> He did, that's a good one. Oh, is it? Pretty good. How, how good? Who's shooting it? We are. The girls. We. The, girls are the girls are shooting first, of course. You got her set up on a right-handed stand. I was gonna say, I you? wasn't sure if she had a mouse in her pocket or something, so we I'm are. Make sure that, make, yes. Are you really? Make you sure didn't you tell them that ahead of time? Yeah, that's why we put you in a right-handed stand. Opening day tomorrow out here at Powder River Outfitters. Doing some last uh, evening scouting, glassing from a, about what, four or 500 yards away. I'm excited. That's the most deer I've seen all summer, even scouting, looking around here in Texas. I haven't seen that many, that many deer in a field yet this year. Every evening, I really look forward to getting back to camp, uh, sharing stores with everyone, and just hanging out with CJ's kids. They were really cute kids, and they had so much fun listening to all of our stories over a great meal, dessert every night. And it was just a really great hunt. Ridge and come to us, but 
daylight, a steady parade of bucks began passing by on the way to the bedding area. It's a good encounter with an eight point, but uh, the wind swirled and they all got a little hanky and then they ran. But the wind is good now, so hopefully a big buck's gonna come cruising by. There are deer all over the place. They funnel in through this river and head back in these woods to bed. It's beautiful. later in the morning I hear Jeremy say Heather look there's a shooter and there was this great eight point walking along the cottonwoods across the river from us and he continued to walk away from us and all the other deer came down the trail and I'm just hoping that we get a shot at this buck. Well, it was amazing to see how many deer had actually fed into these alfalfa fields along the Powder River. And uh, by late evening, there were at least a hundred deer within sight. Uh, they were feeding and actually bedding down in the middle of these alfalfa fields. Quite a few really nice bucks in there too. We were seeing a lot of deer, and I was convinced it was only just a matter of time before we were gonna get a shot. pretty warm out there, it's early season. Do you want to talk a little bit? Go ahead, I have to give you permission. Early season, <laughs> it's hot, a lot of action though. Yeah. Bucks are in velvet, the girls are there, and you know what's really cool is, you know, the guys are filming the girls, I just yep. can't wait till it turns around and the girls film the guys because, you know, this has to stop. No, it's actually really cool that the guys are filming the girls and the girls get a hunt first, you should take note. We already had a nice buck across the river from us this morning. We're 
are set up in the same area, but we're farther down the river. We've got a northwest wind this morning. This is the uh, same spot that we saw the big eight come to yesterday. So it was about 8.30 when he came out. I'm hoping he'll do the same thing today. We saw a great shooter across the river from us. We probably had a dozen turkey working the riverbank and we had a bunch of sheep all in the area we were hunting and actually kept fed down to the river and came up the trail, the deer trail. Well, we've been hearing sheep all morning long and they just crossed right here on this trail. We walked all the way down the water and came back. We had deer all around us, including a really nice buck that came by just before decent camera light. Well, we're closing up this morning hunt. It was very eventful. We almost made it happen, but unfortunately the wind changed and uh, we couldn't make it happen. So, we're gonna pack up and go get some breakfast. So, stay tuned, this evening's hunt's gonna be great. Well, this is our third evening. We're set up in the same stand we were last night. We had a lot of great encounters with some deer that came down the trail for us. Wind's perfect right now. I just hope one of those big bucks reads his script and we can get one tonight. That evening, we set up just downwind of a fence crossing that the deer were using to cross into the alfalfa field. Even though the hunting was a little slow, I sat and realized just how special this area truly is. You know, as cameraman, my stand sits a little higher than hers, and uh, I actually saw the buck coming. I told her, I said, man, great buck, great buck. She couldn't see it at the time, but I told her, get up and get ready. I knew right away from the shot that it was a little bit low. Um, you know, I was super excited and I was also really nervous because with the shot being low, you know, all these thoughts start going through your head. My first velvet Montana buck. Thank you, baby. There's my buck. He's bigger than he thought he was. We're gonna do a lot better than the boys. We're definitely gonna have more fun.
Well, in the stand, I knew that the shot was low. We got down, gave him a little time, found really great blood. Uh, actually found a bed that he was in. Uh, the deer wasn't there, so we decided, you know, when in doubt, back out. Came back to camp, uh, the lodge, got Waz and Steph. Everyone reviewed the footage and no doubt that we think this buck's gonna be down. So, I have me some helpers and hopefully we can find my buck. We're gonna find this deer. I see it. We got good blood. I see white belly down. There's my buck. Yes. Oh, that's a poping you. Oh, thank go. you. Thank you guys for coming out with me. Oh well, I want to. I want to go see him. That's awesome. He. He is huge. Look at the body on this deer. Oh wow. Jeremy, look at him. He's bigger than he thought he was. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at this buck. Well, we had an awesome hunt this evening. Uh, he came out about six o'clock with four other bucks, came in at 30 yards, gave me a great shot. And we've had an amazing trip so far. Thanks to CJ and our guide Jeff, Ralph and Vicki for this opportunity. I've taken my first Montana Velvet Buck. This is my best buck with my bow to date, and I couldn't be more happy with him. You know, it was really great to be part of the hunt, watch Heather take that nice velvet buck. You know, sharing that with her, it, it means a lot to both of us. We've, we had a great time in Montana. Uh, it's one, it's gonna go down as one of our very special hunts for the both of us. All right, so the guys decided that uh, they were gonna hunt together, and so we're like, that's perfect. Yeah, we get to have fun this evening. I know, I know we get to relax. Steph's gonna get one tonight. We have girls already have one on the board. You're gonna smack one today. I know. Yeah. Girls will be tagged out. I know, I saw a shooting star today and I oh, got yeah. my lucky feather. I stepped out of the truck and found this lucky feather, put it in my quiver and shot that buck and I gave it to Steph. We're gonna do a lot better than the boys. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have more fun. <sighs> we have more fun. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong, it's nice to hunt with the guys, but when you have two girls together, the fun just triples. It was such an amazing time being able to hunt with Heather. It's so cool that they're out there in a ground blind, having fun, you know, a couple girlfriends, hunting, <laughs> filming. <laughs> Did you notice that the deer aren't nearby because it's... <laughs> it's not <laughs> why. <laughs> why? It's <laughs> not why. Why? 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 Bucks in the field are probably 120 young bucks. Whew. Get nervous. Good nervous. Congratulations, Heather, Stephanie, for having such a great trip. And guys, seriously, thank you so much for filming them. Go ahead. Oh, I can speak now. Thank you, thank you for the opportunity to say, hey guys, way to go. You know, again, it's us guys trying to help the girls. We try to do everything and you know, just, it's because of us things like this happen. Good thing. It's because of you. Uh, at least you're honest in front oh, of everybody. Yeah, okay. It's because of me. I don't have boots on, it's getting deep. <sighs> hey, if you happen to see the Lucky logo, which was Realtree. Realtree, ultimate in camouflage, best in the world. <laughs> what you need to do is log on to archerschoice.com, click on the Lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's gonna win some great stuff from Realtree, as well as a bunch of other <laughs> great manufacturers. What are you doing? <laughs> Next week's show is more girls out in Iowa, Shelly and I hunting them whitetails in Iowa. Great state. Woo woo. Stay at us the cabin. I guess it probably. Woo, woo. I guess it probably should be the Archer's Choice ladies only. I mean, no, the guys can watch it. Hey, thanks for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week, ladies only. Same channel, same time, right here on the Archer's Choice. Guys, tune in.